guys, April here, and it is Sup Tip Tuesday, and today I want to talk about cutting down either maybe a paddle that you found used that was a really good deal that's the wrong size, or a paddle that you found kicking around in the garage that was cut, um, you know, like five or more years ago back when super long paddles for extra extra reach was really in style. Wow! So I've got three paddles that I'm gonna cut down today that are different. I've got one, this is an old quick blade Slim Jim that connects at the neck. So it's gonna be pretty challenging, but then my old Puakea and my old Hobie quick blade V-Drive collab is up here um, at the handle. This is a tapered shaft. Whereas the Puakea, it is tapered, but is not tapered as much. So let's see, these two glued at the handle, the other one glued at the neck. We are going to talk about how to get each of these handles and blades off so that I can resize them to what I currently want. For the quick blade, what I'm gonna end up doing, I've got a vise here on my workbench. I've got these little rubber grips that are soft, um, and I'm gonna tighten that just enough. I don't wanna over tighten it. You can damage the structure of this carbon fiber tube, and the next time you go to an event, fly, or anything like that, if it breaks, that's exactly where it's going to break. You could actually be catching a huge wave or put all your weight on it. And if you tighten this even just enough to hear a little, that's where it's going to snap when you don't want it to snap the most. So be very gentle. And if you have somebody to help you, that would almost be better than putting it in a vise. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a heat gun or a blow dryer, hair dryer. I actually don't own a hair dryer much to my house guests dismay because you must walk around all the time with wet hair. I don't believe in them. <laughs> Mermaids don't own blow dryers. <laughs> Sorry, I, I should not be on YouTube. All right, heat gun. With the heat gun, you're gonna wanna stay eight inches away from the paddle. What you wanna accomplish is melting or breaking down the bonds in the epoxy that is glued the blade to the shaft without melting essentially the resin that is holding the carbon fiber rigid. If you hold this too close or for too long, it can melt. I do not have a pot big enough to boil my blade so that is why I am using the vise and heat gun method for this paddle. The other two, we are going to boil them in water because it's safer. It's very hot. <laughs> Every so often, I'm going to take a rag or two and I'm going to grab the shaft and grab the blade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if it's starting to... Ooh. I think I got some give. I'm gonna see if it starts giving way. Yeah, boy. So I'm gonna work on this a minute and then I'll show you the final result. So it didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted it to. I got a little, I think I might have overheated it just a little. So there is, part of my shaft is stuck down in this hole. So what I'm going to do to remedy that is I'm going to take the Dremel tool with the drum bit and I'm going to put it in here and just sand away. Since I wanted to cut length off the paddle anyway, that's really it's really not a big deal that I'm missing that. And I'm going to make sure that I get all of the old pieces out of the inside of the receiver, the female end in my blade. Okay, so this is the little drum attachment. I am going to turn it on and I'm going to very carefully sand out the inside because I don't want to make any thin spot. Granted, I am going to fill this with epoxy. If you kind of slip up, it's not the end of the world. You could mix some like 404 filler or just some fibers. So, you know, like chopped fiber in with your epoxy when you glue it in and that would fill any holes 
like in between that doesn't wouldn't add as much structure as if you actually like put a a wrap of fiberglass around that but for me I'm I'm hoping that it's tight enough like I don't have room for a wrap of fiberglass I'm trying to keep it that precise if for some reason you bore it out too much and there's like a lot of play in between the shaft and where this goes in it might behoove you to wrap a layer of cloth around the shaft and kind of slide it in there carefully again that would also work if you cut it past where it's tapered and you just have a smaller diameter with which you're trying to fit in here you might want to fill in that area with fiberglass, not just epoxy, just for added strength and rigidity. I might be over-engineering that, uh, but that's just what I would do because I'm really hard on my equipment. Okay, now I'm gonna cut my shaft. I'm gonna take about six inches off today. If you have a manual saw, they make this, I, I believe it's like diamond plated, so it cuts through carbon fiber. It's, it's super cool. I can't find the little screws that attach this to my bow saw. So I'm gonna use power tools instead. I'm going to take off six inches. You should wear glasses. Beautiful. I just closed my eyes, way safer. So for my purposes, where I cut it, it ended up not being too small. That fits in there perfectly i'm very excited with that that's what i wanted before i lay on the epoxy it's really dark in this corner there i want to make sure it's exactly at the height that i want it that i don't want to shave off anymore if you're not 100 percent sure of the height you want to go yet i would cut it a couple inches too long i'm gonna set this with hot glue and take it out for a couple of test runs before I put the epoxy on. Um, just gross stupidity check is what I like to call that. So right now, while I've been doing that, I started my boiling water upstairs. Let's take these guys to the kitchen. Working hard? Boiling water. Boiling water is almost boiling. I have, some of you may have shrink wrap around the joints. I lost that a long time ago. So I just have electrical tape. I'm gonna remove my electrical tape from this Puakea paddle. There is no electrical tape on the old Quick Blade V Drive Hobie collab. These are two different styles of paddle. This one, the handle is the male end and the shaft is the female end. So this one, the handle goes into the shaft. It is different than the quick blade paddle where the handle is the female end and the shaft is the male end. This one is likely going to be more challenging after I get the handle off, depending on how long I want to cut it because of the tapered shaft. It is more aggressively tapered. We'll see what the future holds. My handles are in, they're boiling. Luckily I have high ceilings. It's going well, I'm excited. Ooh, steamy. Unfortunately, I had some wax up at the top and that's gonna probably melt off. What? Do you have something to say about all of this? Whoa. Why? Why would I do it that way? You think I'm overcooking the handle? You think five minutes is too long? I, who has, who's the professional here? Really? You don't say, what? I'm sorry you guys had to. Shh. I'm sorry you guys had to see that argument. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya thinks we should leave the paddles in for less than five minutes because uh, because she's apparently the paddleboard expert. So let's see how they're doing. It's been 
It's been about three minutes. Grippy oven mitt. Second grippy oven mitt. right off that like wasn't even a thing sorry let me turn the camera oh, I'm so excited okay all right the dog was right <sighs> Kai will you hold the other end of this for me okay let me okay I gotta soften it back up all right so my cook hey uh, Three minutes. Quick blade needs longer. Got it. Okay, so that one took probably seven minutes. So if we average the three minutes that Kaya, the dog, thought I should use and the seven minutes that this one took, we're pretty much at five minutes, so I was right. And plunk. All right, let's go cut more paddles with the thingy. You think this will work? Look, my Pua, Kea, and my quick blader mating. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna cut seven inches off of each of these blades. For me, that's like, it's less than a shackle length. It's probably gonna be head high, an inch over head high. Yeah, there's no rhyme and reason. I'm just picking something at about head high and I'm gonna hot glue it and I'm gonna see if I like it or if I wanna go shorter. I know for a fact, I don't wanna go any longer than this. I have paddles right now already that are longer. Of course, if you only have one to two paddles, you would want to put a little bit more forethought into the length you are cutting the current paddle and why. Got my PPE this time. Looking cool. Hmm. Smells like carbon fiber. That's probably healthy to breathe in, right? Hmm. Okay change in plans. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it on the film, but right here, that's where it was kind of in, that's the edge of the boiling water. When I got to twisting on it, I, I damaged the structural integrity of this one. So I was originally going to cut seven inches, which is about right here but I just, my eye just caught this. And I know for a fact, if I don't cut that out, that is a point of failure. So whether I wanted to go a little shorter or not on this one, that, I mean, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna cut out the bad material to prevent myself future heartache. That is eight inches instead of seven. I'll never notice the difference. <laughs> All right, eight and a half, I'll notice. Right. Success, that is it. Um, I think that's like all three styles of paddles that you could possibly encounter and want to cut. All of mine fit absolutely perfectly. I, I don't need to add any extra material here. I'm not gonna show you how to epoxy them on, but what I am going to do now is set them temporarily with hot glue. Again, that is not going to hold very long. I'm also, after the hot glue, gonna wrap it with electrical tape just to hold it a little bit more. I'm gonna go out for a gentle paddle and make sure that they are at the length that I want them to be. If I was gonna surf or do a sprint, 
that hot glue is likely not going to hold. So I'm gonna throw some hot glue in all three of these, do my tests, and then come back and set them permanently with epoxy. And that is how to cut your old paddles down to a new size. What am I gonna do with my new paddles, you ask? These two were my largest blades and I thought that those would be fun to try to use in a sprint. I'm gonna use these in my last attempt of the APP Fast Track this summer and see if they actually make me go any faster. So, we shall see.